for the next part of this tutorial, I made a very, very awesome uh, model of a room. So I'm just gonna show you that. Wow, nothing beats this. I set up a camera. So I'm just gonna call this render cam. And just to make sure, I'm gonna lock these uh, attributes because I don't want to move the camera around. And then I'm going to show my um, window cam in this one, in this side, and uh, my perspective on the other side, just so I can work around. Right now, there is no sh uh, lights at all. So I'm gonna light this room for you, and uh, by doing that, I'm gonna show you what kind of lights I'm gonna use and explain why I'm using these lights. Um, yeah, and I think I already pumped the quality up. Yeah, I did. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a light from this window. Um, and for that you could use a spotlight, but it's more realistic with a directional light, because a spotlight um, is coming from one point and it will make the shadow uh, it's more for it's kind of hard to explain but uh, directional light comes from all around the place so it can be like sunlight or moonlight um, so I'm just gonna create that and it gets right here usually um, I like to look through the shadows when I make them uh, but not right now. I'm not gonna bother with that. So this is my light. I'm just gonna rotate it so it fits. Uh, this you can see these arrows. Uh, it indicate the direction of your light. So I think this is pretty good. Let's. Oh, I need to put some shadows on, of course. And I'm just gonna use some uh, standard ray tracing shadows. Not gonna do too much about this. Um, and here it's a good idea to set the ray limit up if you got a glass in the window. So let's see how it looks. This looks as I wanted to look, so that's perfect. Maybe I might tweak the direction a little bit. Just more of like that, and maybe, yeah, like that better. And now, if you look at the last rendering, no, uh, when you get light from a window, it will often be that the wall w where the window is put uh, will get very dark, but the rest of the room will get illuminated from the window because light bounces. So it will bounce all over the room and it will also bounce from inside into the room. So you will get a very uh, illuminated room actually just by having one window. And for this, I'm gonna use a area light. A area light is nice because it illuminates light from this square. Um, and you can also use it if you're gonna use global illumination, you can use it to uh, emit protons. So, maybe a bit more back. And like this. So, Let's see how this looks. And you can see already that this is starting to look a bit better. I think it's a bit too much with the, the area light. So I'm just gonna adjust the intensity, set it to 1.5.
and you can see this is much better already it's a bit more realistic than uh, the first one uh, the next part I'm going to do is to show you a volume light uh, because I want the floor to bounce some light off where where the um, where the lights light from outside hits it. So this is basically the light, and you can see it got a got a sphere around it. This sphere indicates where the light uh, will go through, but it won't light anything out of the sphere. So this means that you can actually do like this, make it a bit bigger. and it will give a quite nice effect I'm also going to use that for the lamp um, but right now I'm just going to do like this actually I want a color on this and then let's make it a bit bluish because no light in the reality is actually is actually totally white so it's unrealistic that uh, the light would be totally white Anyway, let's see how it looks. And you can see that the wall with the window now also gets illuminated a bit. And that's what we want because it hits the ground and then illuminates up. But I think it's a bit too much again. So I'm just gonna select. I'm gonna select the light and get the intensity down it's starting to look better but i still think the illumination on the area light is uh, too big so let's try it uh, 0.2 so lighting is uh, a lot about tweaking and um, knowing what you actually want I think this is uh, more realistic, but you can always play around with it. This is only for a quick introduction. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to create another volume light, and um, I'm going to move it up to the side, and I'm going to. So a very interesting thing about lighting is that it's in many cases just about cheating making it look good but uh, doing it in a cheating way um, so this is going to illuminate the whole room and I'm gonna make it a bit of a yellow light because my lamp is yellow um, and let's see this uh, should actually cast a shadow so I'm just gonna select it oh that's the wrong one this is the right one normally I would name these lights but uh, in this case I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna spend too much time on my tutorials they should be fast and quick and easy to learn from so let's see how it looks I'm not quite sure why it uh, doesn't cast the shadows but it should cast a shadow so but I guess maybe I don't render two-sided polygons let me just check it if I remember where it is uh, I want to show you how you can control which object it's a light should uh, have an effect on um, but I can't really remember where the two sided let's do it in another way sometimes you have a, a glass in your window and this glass will cast a shadow 
and you don't want that because you want some light to go into the window from outside so um, okay now it, <laughs> it fits the window um, anyway let's uh, make a shader for it quickly gonna make it blend assign some material and I'm gonna make it transparent so if you go to the render cam and uh, render okay you can see that it still goes through that was actually not expected so what happens if it's not transparent at all I'm just gonna render the bits where you can see it ah then it doesn't go through so let's say in the old Maya it was different so let's say you want the light to go through anyway even though it's not transparent uh, the way to do that is you select the directional light which is the light that goes to the window and you go to let's just uh, I'm just gonna make a group with uh, the set call it set or one not with the window the window is in another group just to make it a bit easier I'm gonna select the directional light I'm gonna go to window relation relationship editors light linking uh, and I think it's light centric yeah this open uh, open up this relation editor I'm gonna select this and you can see this will illuminate uh, uh, currently il illuminates everything illuminated objects you can see them over here and I'm gonna deselect the plane so if I go to render cam, press render, you will see that now the light actually goes through the window. And you might ask yourself, why is this useful? But a lot of times you want a character in a scene and the character needs some special lighting. So you're gonna need only some of the lights to affect only the character and some of the lights only to affect the environment um, and it's a very easy way to cheat and make cool stuff um, yeah so um, 